Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna. I'm gonna be trying out activities slash hobbies that you can do after 5 p.m. because you all have a nine to five. So that's an understandable. You can be a content creator and do nine to five at the same time. You'd be an entrepreneur and do nine to five at the same time, you know. We all need a source of income. So I'm just trying to find my own hobby because I feel like I don't have a hobby except for making money and watching YouTube videos. That's everything that I do. So come along. Today we are gonna be doing a spin class. It's my first time and I haven't worked out in forever. So watch me die as I do this 50 minute exercise class routine. Let's just go. I know you. But before that, I'm going to fix my bed first because it's looking kind of crazy. Uh, so here we go. What I hate about doing bed is like you go back and forth because this is not fucking even. Oh, what? Yo, that worked. I am surprised. You just have to be angry a little bit and your bed will kind of follow. Okay, so now I am going to try and find what I'll be wearing for the class. They said leggings and a tank top, but I'm an island girl and I don't do it winter. I'm also an old lady. So I am going to do like a shirt under it, like I'm gonna do sports bra, I'll bring a tank top, and I'll bring a shirt, just in case I wanna switch up later, you know? I was thinking, I'm crazy for thinking this, I was thinking of bringing this and wearing this to a spin class. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna hold my boobs. Like even just doing an elliptical or jumping jacks, this doesn't hold my boobs, so I gotta find something stronger. I found my London leggings. It's been a while since I last wore this and it's the winter so we're bringing her out and also I'm thinking of bringing this Lululemon tank top. As an alternative, I'll be wearing this Gymshark top that my friends got me. Purple and black. They don't seem that bad, right? I'm gonna be also wearing this shirt. This is like a boyfriend shirt and then I'm just gonna tuck it under. Like I have to like tuck it like so far but yes, that's what I'll be wearing. I need to bring a sweater because it's super cold outside. Just planning this loan is already exhausting. Plus, mind you, I have to travel an hour to get there and an hour to get back. So that like takes two hours of my time, plus working out would take three hours. So we'll see. This is definitely something you do on a weekend, not on a weekday, but we'll see what time I get home. brought my tripod. Oh, Christina, you should do a TikTok. Not now. First class done. I almost died. Did you? Yo, I died. I, was, I, I wanted to go out in the middle of it. Did you see me just like so fucking dizzy? But anyways, we're done now. This is the lockers. Okay, so we just finished our spin class and the entrance is like right there it's a little alleyway you can't really see it it's like an alleyway in an alleyway and it smells like pizza oh fuck <laughs> this is what happens when i vlog in public and i don't really look at my step okay so hold on that's the main street and that is the entrance it's like really dark it's like a secret club but not really and this is the pizza that smells really is it just me or did it smell like weed yeah. like in the middle of it did you smell weed during spin class yeah i was like what the fuck and i was like it got me dizzy and i was like is that the part of the class is it like smoke weed to make us high that would be like hot boxing is it red boxing or hot boxing but anyways that was my experience and now we're eating out hi cut that out so we're trying to figure out where to eat and there's this Greek restaurant just right across the corner and what's, Christine asked what's Greek food but she asked what Greek food is like honestly at 20 years old I don't blame you <laughs> Okay so we're not having Greek food because it's too expensive and we don't know what the hell the menu is but we're walking down either pho if not we're gonna we'll just eat Christine's chicken nuggets <laughs> Wait what? Where's the fucking bananas bro? In the garbage. Oh, you threw them? 
It is now Tuesday and it's been four days since I last we went last to spin class and let me tell you my ass my thighs my back everything basically my body hurts and we're going again tonight I mean it's fun but not really it is fun it is fun okay so we're going again tonight I'll show you what I bring to spin class and all that stuff we'll go earlier this time maybe we can film a little bit more but nonetheless here we go so a quick overview of what I'll be bringing. So I have my beanie and I have hand sanitizer. I'm bringing half a banana and I wrapped it in some tissue paper. It's ghetto, but like we're gonna have to go through with it. I'm gonna bring mask, probably I'll bring some new ones. I don't know about using that one again. New pairs of socks because you put your feet in the shoes. And you know, I just, I just wanna be sanitary now that COVID's around. I brought a face mask just in case I wanna wash my face after. And this is the shirt that I'll be wearing. And of course, my glass water bottle. And then my wallet, my phone, and this is just the bag they had on there. I got one last time, but I didn't get to use it. So I'm just gonna bring this again. I'm just gonna put everything in this long champ bag. I feel like everyone in the class has a long chomp in there we're finally good to go this is what i'm gonna be wearing because i'm gonna be trying to use the public transit like a peasant well i just couldn't afford a car well i can't buy a car i will not buy a car this is what i'll be wearing for for spin and i'll be wearing the this green sports bra and then i'll be putting a shirt i'll, I'll show you guys more about that but for now we're gonna have to track through track through the snow and get there so we just got off the bus and we're now walking towards the class. So at this corner, you're going to see this white Mediterranean or Greek place. And then you go into this. There's Blondie's Pizza. I'm going to get some pizza right after. Just keep going. And this is the, the little sign they have here, but you still have to go through there. We can see where it's at. Okay, so we just got here and we're like 30 minutes early to our class. So that's a good thing because I can show you around. This is the change room and no one's here. So I can finally film without restriction. So this is the towels that you get and then that's where you put the towels and shoes. Hair dryers and then the amenities here. They yeah, all this stuff, a body balm and some lockers are right here. These are the showers and the toilets and then they have a whole sink in here. I wonder what's inside the washroom. They have a full little body bath, shampoos and etc. and whatnot. I'm gonna go in for Instagram too, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me and I'll give you a little reel. Okay, so I'm back home now. I did around two spin classes. The first one was four days ago and the last one was just yesterday. After my first class, my body hurts. As I talked to you in the previous video, like my body hurts and I tried doing strength exercise, strength training, whatever you call that for like my, my I don't know why I did that to be honest. Anyways, I'm here to talk about my experience going to spin class for the first time. So for us, we went to the Ride Cycle Club in Toronto. I'm here to tell you how it was like to go on a spin cycle if it's your first time and if you're unfit just like me. I've never had any form of exercises before I went there and I almost died. But I survived, so we're all fine. Yeah, so you book online through their website. You either get a complimentary class, one class to get for free, or you get the three classes for $30. That's the one we chose because we just wanted to try it more than the ones to see how it was like. So we've already gone to two classes. Once you get there, there's a counter that you have to basically check in and on check in, they will ask you for your shoe size and your weights that you want to use. Once you get your shoes and your weights, you then go to the, there's like change room or there's like lockers outside. You change into our clothes. I just wear leggings, a sports bra. And I like to sweat a lot, so that's why I put a top on. I don't just like work out in my sports bra, although I can. Maybe in the summer I will, but I just like to sweat a lot because it makes me feel like I've done a lot of work when I sweat. 
the classroom or the studio will open and then you can adjust your bike you can adjust the height of the bike the, the seat and then like how far it is from you basically that's that I wish I could film a tutorial on how to do that however we have such a limited time getting on the bike and setting up but maybe I'll try some other time but yeah that that's that generally is the experience of what it's like being in <laughs> being in spin class little story the first time we did this i didn't properly eat i realized when i was going there that i was hungry so i didn't have that much food like i probably had a bite of banana and that's about it and halfway through the ride it was a 50 minute session i was feeling dizzy like i wanted to get out but they didn't teach us how to get off the bike so like my my feet was clamped onto the pedals i couldn't get out and i really wanted to go out i feel like i was gonna pass out but I struggled through it, I pushed through it, so I, I was fine. It's just my breathing was a little bit off. So yeah, that's that. And also like maybe if you're like claustrophobic or like you have, you know, like it, it, there's, there's bright lights, loud music in there, maybe it will not be for you. <laughs> Affordability. So most spin classes would usually be priced around $25 to $30. That's like generally what I saw. So price-wise, I would give it like a 2 out of 3 stars and the experience, I would give it a 3 out of 3. I really liked it. And then the convenience, I would give 1 out of 3 because just I live in the suburbs, like I, I live in the boonies. So it's like really far from the city. It takes me an hour to get there and an hour to get back. If it was something close by, then maybe I could consider doing it. And from now on, I'm gonna continue doing it because I, I just like it. It's like, I'm gonna consider it one of my hobbies now, even though I'm not good at it, but it's just for fun, um, do something in life, you know? Let me elaborate more on the convenience. For me, it takes me around an hour to get there and then an hour to do the exercise and an hour to get back. It's a to total of three hours. If you're like me living in the suburbs and you have to go to the city to go and do your spin class, it would take you around three, or three hours or four hours. And if you get off at 5 p.m., not considering the fact that you have to like get changed, get everything ready and whatnot, it would take you basically your whole night from five to nine. So it would I wouldn't recommend people doing this like every day because that's just crazy unless you live like across the gym that is my overview on this activity after nine to five so if you're not following me yet follow me so we can do and explore more activities after 5 p.m because i feel like there's such a limited time that you can do after work so this way we can explore feel free to recommend me anything and this is also something to make me do more rather than just sit at home and watch netflix because you know as, as relaxing and fun it sounds i want to do something with my life and i'm gonna do these activities and tell you guys how it is so you can try to and the experience that are not so pleasant maybe you can avoid saves you money and time so if you're not following me yet, follow me. I post also on my Instagram at Deanna Dreams and also on my TikTok at Deanna Dreams. And until the next video, or should I say, until the next activity. Bye. Darling, you send me.